Hi everybody, this is Sterling with Strategy Content Marketing and I just finished writing a post here about affiliate advertising websites and I wanted to tell everybody about it and I decided to do an on screen. It's a lot easier to to talk about things because we can demonstrate exactly how to do things by just jumping around and recording what we did. I have not yet embedded a video in this post and so it isn't published at the time I'm making the video because that's where I'm going to put the video. It's going to be embedded in this post. I'm going to show you in this video how to use Google Keyword Planner and GoDaddy.com to help you find a suitable and really powerful URL name that you can then go and use as the base for building a money-making affiliate ad website. If you're not sure what that means, go back and read the post again or do a little reading about affiliate advertising then it'll become clear. Uh, if you didn't find this video in that post, there is a link to the post. If you found this video through YouTube, there's a link to it down in the description section. Now the whole idea in affiliate marketing is to get people to come to the website and click on your ad. If you can put together a website that's interesting, that you know a lot of people are going to be looking at, you put the right appropriate ads up there, you're going to sell stuff. That's all there is to it. We decided that TV shows are really popular. A lot of people like a number of TV shows and there's a tremendous number of online searches relative to TV shows. So we thought we'd pick one. We did a little research on TV show names and we found that there's a wildly popular series which was on for five years and just ended which is called Breaking Bad. So we thought, well, let's see what kind of a site we can set up around Breaking Bad. Well, we did end up building an affiliate site around Breaking Bad, and it's in the growth process right now. So I thought I'll just show you how we went about choosing what we did and getting a URL name. Go to Google AdWords and do some research on whatever term is appropriate to what you're looking for. We were looking for information, keyword search information about the show Breaking Bad. So go here and uh, enter the term Breaking Bad and then ask for keyword ideas. You can see here that the term Breaking Bad gets searched a million eight hundred and thirty thousand times on average per month. That's dropped a little. Last month it was like a number like five million, but it's still a pretty, pretty incredible number. Now if you could get BreakingBad.com, that would just be great. But you're not going to. I'll go through that here. Anyway, if you go to Google and search on Breaking Bad in quotes, that's going to bring up all the sites that have been optimized around the term Breaking Bad and put them on top. You can tell if a site's been optimized if the search term appears both in the title of the post, somewhere in the URL, and somewhere in the text. You can see AMC TV's post which shows up on top has been optimized. So has this Wikipedia. There's the search term, there's the search term, there's the search term. So has this Wikipedia site. There's the search term. There's the search term in the URL. And if you went on down, well, there it is in the text, in the, uh, in the meta text, et cetera, et cetera. So you can see, well, there's a lot of big name people that have optimized on Breaking Bad. And they're at the top of that. So BreakingBad.com, if it was available, and it isn't, is not going to be easy to rank on top because a lot of people have been working on that. But there are a lot of related terms that you can search on that are getting a whole lot of attention. So go, let's go back to Google AdWords. Now you might ask yourself, let me go back here for a second, you might ask yourself, why don't I see 
BreakingBad.com up there. Well, that's because somebody owns it and they're just not doing anything with it. Perhaps they bought it and they're just sitting on it, but it's not available anyway. If you go to GoDaddy and look for it, it's not available. So let's go down the list and I'll just show you. I'll show you the term that we chose and why we chose it. Breaking Bad Cast gets 40,500 searches per month. That many times per month do people search on that term to get information on the cast of Breaking Bad. So I thought, well, let's see how competitive is this term Breaking Bad cast on Google. We'll go to Google and put in Breaking Bad cast in quotes and see how many people have optimized on that. Well, up here at the top, here's AMC TV again. Of course, they've done a good job. It's their show. It's in the post name. It's in the URL. It's in the text. Uh, here's... See the second one down? Whoever this is, they didn't do much of a job. It's not in their URL. Breaking Bad Cast, that term does not appear as one phrase in the title of the post. That's pretty poor. Here's a third one. Uh, Breaking Bad Cast is in the title of the post, but it looks like just by accident because uh, it doesn't appear in uh, here and it doesn't really appear intentionally down here. It just looks like they got there by accident. And of course you have Wikipedia they're up here at the top, but not really optimized on the term Breaking Bad Cast. They just appear up here because Breaking Bad Cast was in the text there, but they didn't really optimize it. So you can see, uh, the only people who really optimized, did a good job of optimizing on that particular keyword was uh, AMC TV. So we should be able to rank pretty well with that. So we decided, you know what, I bet we can. So. Then we need, once we choose a keyword phrase like that, we want to know, well, is there a, uh, a URL name with that phrase, Breaking Bad Cast? So let's go to GoDaddy and see what we can find. I'm going to type in Breaking Bad Cast and ask for URLs that are associated with that keyword, Breaking Bad Cast. And what do we get? Well, there's not a BreakingBadCast.org anymore because we bought it and we own it. But there was a little while back. And it was up here in this range. I think it was $12.99 a year. So we bought it. We bought the BreakingBadCast.org website. Then we went and installed WordPress on it. And then we started putting up relevant information about Breaking Bad, writing blog posts and articles about the cast, about the characters, about the story, and putting up affiliate ads on the site. And it's already starting to gain some momentum. There are some other things you're going to need to do to get some traffic. You might need to get yourself some, uh, some high PR backlinks to point at your site to get it rolling. We've got that in process as well. But that is basically the process for how to choose a URL for an affiliate ad website. You could pick anything. We happen to pick TV shows. We've got a couple of other ones in the work. In the works, we'll be doing a couple of other affiliate ad sites on TV shows. So pick something that thrills you. Go to Google uh, Keyword Planner. Find something that gets a lot of searches, that doesn't have much competition, and go with it. I hope this has been informative and not too long, and I thank you for listening. And stay tuned for more information on this same subject. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.